Limo space program. Send a limo to space. Don't worry, it has enough rocket fuel. Another Aliens Rock fun level. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, this is this is a normal bridge. No spring shenanigans. Oh <laughs> We are creating basically a limo rocket. This is not as easy as you'd think it'd be though. We're gonna have to get this to go up without destroying the bridge. Well, I'm gonna start by doing normal roads, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to be reinforced. Oh, you know, I bet we're supposed to bounce off this cliff. So, like, we're just supposed to have it go decently up, then have it ricochet into that because of how fast it is. It's gonna be really weird to do with just this as my joint. I don't think I'm gonna ever get it to be non-breaking, but I just want it to be effective. Let's see if this does anything. Three, two, one. Well, two things. One, that was so fast it started a wheelie. Two, it didn't break my bridge. And three, it definitely didn't bounce off there. Did I say two things? I definitely meant three things. <laughs> well, good news is, is that we can send it vertical now without any fear of repercussion. We just go up. Never go vertical. Yeah, that's right. I gotta have a little bit of a horizontal so we don't burn up at exiting the atmosphere. All right, let's do it. Nope, okay, do destroy the bridge. <laughs> it do. Let's bring these back then. And let's try to smooth this out, maybe. There we go. Here we go again. Oh, closer. We got the height. <laughs> just, just, we're just off. That is regular speed. That is not sped up at all. All right, so we need it to be more vertical, apparently. What do we think is the biggest angle change we can have without it completely obliterating everything we know and love dearly? There's some pretty drastic angle changes here, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, it's closer, but it actually does not get the height. I'm not even trying to hit the wall anymore. The only reason it's doing that is because it's snapping. Let's go for a muscle here. Closer to the flag. Oh, it's so close. I right, bring it a bit more this way. Oh my gosh, we are painfully close. Okay, so I'm realizing that the initial road should probably be steeper because it's wheeling into it. I could probably use that to my advantage. I could probably even get rid of this and then this. These can be regular roads, let's be real. It does, it, they don't even matter anyways. The first road breaks and then it goes in the a to the atmosphere. Damn, we're just so barely overshooting it. <gasps> oh, that was so good looking. Okay, so let's fix this support. Make this as strong as I possibly can. And then it breaks later, allowing it to go more vertical. Does this make it better or worse? Oh, better. It's so close. We're just hitting the max length of steel. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No! Closest one yet. Can I change this a bit then? More vertical. Come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, are you joking? That was so close. Little higher. It dodged it. What a fucker. Come on, this time for sure. The day just gets closer. Ah, shit. Come on. Please. Yes! What happened when it hit the flag? I have no idea. But we did it. We made it to the moon. <laughs> or rather, we probably just escaped the atmosphere. That's probably the equivalent. And immediately came barreling back down to the earth. A nice splashdown. No one was killed. Let's see what other people did. I'm sure people pulled off for way better. Oh, people were able to bounce off there. I'm not crazy. That was possible. I don't know what he did to make it go in that direction, but I had it bounce and it did not do anything like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm done. All right, so is that what everyone did? Did everyone bounce it? Everyone did bounce it. Everyone did it. Wait. Our savior, Diamond Mud. We, uh, for uh, actually almost the exact same budget as me. $400 off. One other person had a launch, unless this guy had it too. Nope, also a bounce. As I submit this, I will be the second person to just have it launch straight up. For watching it, I think it's more fun to watch it go straight up. Yeah, this is cool.
cool level. Let's. I'm gonna go ahead to the next one. Hot Wheels. All right. Well, this looks like a clusterfuck. Let's check it out. <laughs> nice springs. This is an autoplay. Is that what's going on? Sure. Why not? Yeah, I loved Hot Wheels as a kid. Let's uh revisit it. Why don't we? So it accelerates very slow, but it has a big top speed. This isn't Hot Wheels, this is Line Rider. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but my Hot Wheels definitely were not able to generate their own speed. Honestly, I think it'd be cool to see like a mega Line Rider-esque level in Polybridge. Like something like this, but with a bit more playtime. Maybe it syncs up to Bohemian Rhapsody. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. For Aliens Rock Gaming? Huh? Why do you do this? I'm pretty sure this car can almost jump the gap by itself. Maybe. What the fuck was that? It goes so fast it tips itself over. Okay, let's just let's just send it. Let's just send it up a bit. <laughs> Never mind. We we apparently miss. Yeah, it's it's a weightless vehicle. Let's see if we can just add any road at all. There! <laughs> wait! No! Wait! Uh, I have a feeling if I let this play. <laughs> so we're a little bit too steep. Don't do drugs, kids. There we go. Nice. I'm sure if someone did this with like a single $70 road. Yeah, I figured as much. $70. One falling road! And a dream. Police chase? Can the police cut off the criminals before it's too late? Made for Aliens Rock. Hmm. So what's the deal? We got this guy, we got this guy. Where's the cop? So I think the thing is we need to have this go in front of that. Oh, this is a biker cop. I see. Is there not an actual police car in this game? I know there was one in the previous game. And this thing is way faster than the cops? No, this thing's way slower than the cops. Wait, so what's the deal? Okay, so... Here's an idea. We just have this be a straight bridge across. So we need to have this overtake this. I think they will still both come out here. But I think with a jump, it should be able to pass over the other one. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm interested to see if this is difficult. I, it feels like it's going to be fun, though. I don't know how much I'm going to need the 100k. The 100k might just be there just in case. Oh, this fucker is a really slow acceleration. Honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna have to let the level play out and then adjust accordingly because I can't see myself Just knowing how to do it based off these numbers. This is such a foreign uh, Number to me four number combination that I can't even really plan it out I just have to know at some point uh, one car is gonna jump over the other one and I don't think the biker can ever bump into the other vehicle because then it, the other vehicle will accelerate so much more quickly than the biker. I think the intended solution is to have some sort of hydraulic claw or something to ha at this checkpoint, but I'm having none of that. So I'm going to try this sort of thing instead. Oh shit, that guy sucks at climbing hills. So here's how this is going to go instead then. The jump's going to be here and there's going to be like a catch here. And then down below we're going to have something like this. So the motorcycle is going to be on top once both cars are about this point. So we're going to have to have this jump down, I suppose. So this is a little bit overdone, I think. But it's what I got. The whole course. Let's see if it works as planned. So the slow but fast accelerating vehicle is going to make a point to catch up to this. This does not have that high of max speed. Hopefully this hits its max speed by the time this jump happens. Because this is going to go down. And then hopefully... Oh, that's not even close. That takes forever to accelerate. Jesus. I feel like I could do some sort of trap door. Yeah, let's try some maybe trap door sort of thing. Let's see if it works. Just a simple little trap door that totally won't destroy the entire thing. Okay, it's probably gotta not donk that there. No, because what's happening right now is that the top road is hitting our vehicle, so it can't go down anymore. So, I gotta set it up in a way... That that definitely won't happen. Maybe start by lowering this. Oh, and now it can't push the spring. Very cool. This spring is too powerful. Maybe compress it a little. Give it a little bit. Is there any other way I can do this without hydraulics? Maybe here? 
Funny enough, this was better. We're gonna go like two minutes and we're gonna go to hydraulics. I just was not interested in doing it, but see, like that sort of thing almost works. Oh, it's so close! Are you kidding me? See, I know it can be done. I guess this has to be two roads. Let's make this compressed a little bit. No! It's so close to making up. It's so damn close. All right, here's an idea. An additional catching road. That's a little bit lower. Ooh. Shit. Maybe if it's longer? Oh, it's either stronger or weaker when it's longer. Longer makes it stronger. Hold on. Let's go back here and just have it stretch more. Longer but stretched. I can't give up to the hydraulic just yet. That's exactly what Big Hydraulic would want me to do. I can't do it. Shit. Maybe a way left. Well! We did it, except we stopped this vehicle, so I don't think it's gonna make it up now. And this is also stopped. They're all just trapped forever. <gasps> yes! We did it! <laughs> just the perfect amount of tweaking. I knew that design would eventually work. The trap door. For those who missed it, I'll run it back. And it didn't lose any speed at all. It got caught in there. And the perfect ramp for this guy to pass it up. And then he just keeps moving on. Love it. Neat level, probably a bunch of ways to go about it. So now that I have you guys here, here's what I realized that probably should have been done. So the second this thing hits the star, there's a hydraulic phase. So what I would just do is have a ramp up here that would just be pulled down by a hydraulic by the time this hits the star, because that's when there's the greatest separation in between the vehicles. Do other people do hydraulic stuff? Um, there's a lot of steel. What? Wait, how did this work? Wait, 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 wait. The vehicles can... <laughs> the police can push the other vehicle into the flag. Okay, that's just a major oversight there. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, just built the normal bridge. Well, if I knew you, you could push it, I wouldn't have tried to do that, but I had figured it wasn't possible to push it. How about this one? This looks different. This is probably the hydraulic thing I was talking about. I bet it pushes up the whole ramp. Yeah, it's going up, and then this is gonna make it up here. Yep. Oh, it only t uh, needs to go until here to pass it up. Yeah. Pretty simple. Pretty clean. <laughs> oh, spring pull. And then it passes up here. Oh, that's nice. See, I like what the spring's doing. This thing has terrible acceleration, so the springs help with that. And then he just built a bunch of crap over here. Nicely done. Let's check out some more.